In this series of Visual C++ tutorials, I'm going to show you how to do multiple things in Visual C++. The first thing I want to show you is basic math conversion and stuff like that. You want to do this through making a basic calculator. And this will also show you how to interact with the form and code a lot better. So first you're going to create a new project and I'm just going to name it Calculator. Now once it's created, you'll see your Toolbox, Solution Explorer, and Properties. So the first thing we're going to drag on is a text box. Wherever those are, a text box. And then what we need to do is, we're going to stretch the text box out, and this is going to be the first thing they input. Second text box is going to be the second thing, and the third text box is going to be the result. Now we're going to go ahead and name them all. Let's go to properties and let's name this txt num1. Name this text box txt num2. Name this text box txt results. Now we're going to create three buttons. This button is going to be for addition. So we're going to change the name to btn add and we're going to change the text to text and just a plus sign now we want four of these so we're going to copy and paste it four times or three times actually and as you can see we got three nice little text box you can try to line them up better if you want but they're pretty good these you got three text box four little buttons now we're going to change the text in all of them this one's going to be a subtraction sign. This one's going to be a multiplication sign. You can either use an X. You can use an X if you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use an X. And then a division sign. Um, the division sign is not on your keyboard. So to get it, you would go on the internet and just type in division sign character. and it would be right here just copy that copy it in here there you go multiplication addition subtraction division so now what you need to do you need to create a function the easiest way to create oh before we do this let's go ahead and finish naming everything let's name button 2 btn multiply button 3 btn divide and let's name button 3 btn subtract now we need to create one function to handle clicking every single one of these. The easiest way to do that is to click the button, to click events right here, and then you'll just double click click. That this will create a function for um when you click the uh, click add, but the problem is this function will only work if you click add. Um we will finish this later. Let's just make it what happens if you click add. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the top, I'm going to include the string library, I'm going to include the string stream library, and I'm going to include the standard library. I'm going to go back to my function for when I click add, and I'm going to, first I'm going to write, create a standard string and I want to set it equal to I want to name this standard string str num1 equals um this txt num1 text that will get the text out of the 
text box named txt num1 and set it to the standard string. Problem is this will give us an error. The reason is, is because the text inside of the text box is not a standard string, it's a system string. So you need to convert it. I I'm not the I made a simple, very simple function to understand to convert between these strings. Um, if there's a better way to convert, please tell me. This was the best way I can think of. So I'll put this in the description. But I have a two functions. One, two standard string. They're pretty large functions. And the other one is to system string. These are used to convert between standard and system strings. Now when we copy both those in, we can scroll back up to right here. And we're going to go and say st st the standard string, string equals, we also want to go up here and write using namespace std, I forgot about that part. We're going to write s equals, and then see this, you know how I said this txt number one text returns a s system string? We're going to write two standard string and put that in a f this function that will convert it. So string str num2 equals two standard string this txt num1 or txt num2 text. That will set the these two standard strings simply to whatever in the first and second text box. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a double, a double st um, db dbl num one equals. We're going to set it equal to a function called atof. This will convert. Um, convert constant character sh um, strings to um, doubles. The problem with this is if I try to convert str num1, this string, it's not going to work because it's not one of those strings. To make it one of those strings, we're going to write str num1 dot and we're going to write c comma str and we'll use that function. That will convert it. That will basically convert this string right here to a double. So, and a double is a number that can hold basically any number. So what what we did here, if I write this again, double dbl num2 equals atof str num2 dot c str. So what we basically did here is we took the text out of the first text box and converted it to a double to double num1 and then the second for the second text box. Now we're going to say double dbl results equals d let's just say result equals dbl num1 plus dbl num2. Now we need to convert these back. So we're going to write um, we're going to write um st uh, we're going to write what is it this txt result text equals to dbl result dot two string txt result didn't work what is this called again? Let me check the name. It is named. Oh, where's the name? TXC results. Oh, it has an S at the end. So let's go ahead and add our S's at the end. Now, when we run this, results
Now, as you can see, when you run this, we put five, three. You know, we press the plus button. It's going to write eight, five point two, three point one. So I'm going to add them to 8.3. So now we got to make this function work for every button. And that's actually not that difficult. What we need to do, we need to go up here. Let's go back down to our function. We're, see where it's named btn add click? We're just going to change the name to btn click. Then we're going to go up to where the comment says btn add. And we're going to find B, this btn add click plus equals event handler and see where it says btn add click just remove add there what we're going to do we're going to copy this line of code we're going to go to divide and we're going to say change this part to btn divide go to this part change this to btn multiply go down here change this one to btn subtract what we just did is we made it where I can click any of the four buttons and it's still going to execute this function here, btn click. So if I play this, if I type in 5.3, 2.3.1, I press multiply, it's going to add it. And let's say a division is going to still add, and they're all going to add it because they all do the same thing. So we've got to do, we got to make this function be able to tell what we did. See how you got your object sender here, up here in your parameters? Um, sender, it, the sender will be equal to whatever object calls this function to execute. So let's say we click button 1, a little btn add. It's sender is going to be equal to btn add. So that's really what we need to do. We got to say, see this line right here? We're going to say, create an if statement. If sender equals equals this btn add, then it's going to add them. We're going to define double dbl results before these if statements. Now we're going to copy this four times, three times. BT, if I click subtract, if it's equal to subtract, we want to subtract. If it's equal to um, multiply, we want to multiply, which is with an asterisk. And if it's equal to divide, then we're going to divide. And this one function right here will handle all four buttons. Now, if I type in 5.3 and 2.1, I can add them, I can subtract them, I can multiply them, and I can divide them. Now, as you can see, we just made a basic calculator in Visual C++. Very basic one. If you go up here to the form text, you can go ahead and change it to calculator. And we can save our project, build it, now if we click the open button right here, should open file and I'll show you where your project's located, and if we navigate there, and go to debug or we want to go to debug calculator our calculator will be sitting right here for us to use as you can see basic calculator in Visual C++